Well, all right, Mossman, here is my 1981 GMC Sierra 2500, which I like to think I turned it into a 3500 because I put a, uh, the um, upgraded 3500 uh, back leaf springs, which I'll show you in a second. But anyways, that's Manny. That's my 13-year-old uh, dog. But anyways, uh, the, here she blows. And as I said, pretty clean. Sorry about the shakiness and all that there, uh, Moss Man. I'm not a YouTuber, bro. I don't have any fancy equipment like that. But uh, real quick, let the camera adjust, show you everything, the door jams. Uh, one thing I was impressed with when I got this truck was that there was absolutely no freaking rust. I did get it out of Nevada. Uh, I'm in Florida now where I spend eight months out of the year where I am a boat captain out up on Lake Tahoe but uh, the interior was beautiful the carpets beautiful everything no rips I put this in here um, I did the dash cam front and back um, a radar detector my phone um, I have my stereo system that was in my O2 Silverado that I showed you made a video you liked uh, that whole stereo system goes back in here with the base uh, control I've got my kicker back here um, guys, I highly recommend this stuff. Uh, my mechanics at the, uh, the docks tell me they all use it. They all have diesels. Um, anyways, this is what she's looking like from the outside. The camper top, um, I had gotten, that was on the O2 Silverado. Probably won't recognize it because it is white. Anyways, here's both sides. Inside and out is absolutely gorgeous, spotless. Um, I love how these little windows open up on these on these here. So, hey Manny, I love you. Um, but yeah, the camper top. Uh, by the way, I do like the factory rims. I, I'm only going with 33s uh, this time. The only difference I think I'm going to do is go up to a... I got 16-inch rims, so I'm going to do a 17-inch rim. I only want to go one inch larger because I want to keep my uh, uh, pulling capacity high. So I'm going to go with the street tire type of... Um, for, for towing my RV, which is up the hill. And so... Uh, in other words the tire and they're a one inch offset so they'll just stick out one inch plus the tires that I have picked out um, are they stick out one inch past the rims and the rims are 10 inches wide so I'll kind of get that look that I like instead of using spacers like I did on the other truck which um, I don't really care for anymore but the camper top I had uh, painted by a friend of mine who is a very good painter inside I, as you can see I got the fifth wheel attachment I have that whole set up still even though I only have a oh well I, I have a toy hauler so but this is the rear of the truck um, yeah I upgraded from my Buell too buddy to a Harley Davidson V-Rod <laughs> so I upgraded from 6.0 gas to a Duramax turbo diesel but as you can see, look how spotless it is. Oh, and by the way, I did go with the the edge uh, tuning system here. I uh, wish I would have spent the extra couple hundred and gotten the one where I can switch on the fly. And uh, the only other modification I'm doing for the motor is the uh, throttle, uh, the butterfly that opens up to allow the fuel in is electronically... Um, controlled so what this unit does it connects to the edge you know about it i'm sure it makes it so this opens up fast instead of like flooring it and it goes electronically it goes wherever you put your foot it has it so um i'm leaving basically everything stock and legal whatever i can get away with doing legal wise if i can do the edge whole entire fuel um exhaust system with the muffler with the cat i'm doing it if I could do all these intakes bigger, I'm doing it. Uh, I already have a K&N square filter in there for diesel. It runs dry. And um, 
So also the biggest part about this motor is and why I bought this truck is because the old man that I bought it just gave me receipts. I have three years from about two months ago warranty on this motor. This motor was just done over $8,000. They call it a stage two bulletproof where they did the new heads. They studded them down the real good way. Uh, the Bosch fuel injectors and we did a water pump. The motor has everything. This truck has 123,000 miles on it with a bulletproof, uh, basically a bulletproof um, block, which is why I don't mind running the edge uh, tuner on it with just under performance uh, in performance mode, which means, you know, it's not going to go all kinds of crazy and blow itself up. But it is... It is, it runs fucking amazing, excuse my language, uh, but it really does. She's a beautiful truck. I'm so happy with it. It pulls everything and anything I've got. Um, like, I don't even know it's there, but I think um, I added uh, like almost 100 horsepower to it, and it's still very, very dependable. I mean, I don't floor it. I am 57. I drive it around uh, very reservedly. Um, and then again, I'm not afraid to race a damn Corvette with this thing. That's how, that's, sorry, Manny, I didn't mean to scare you there. That's how beautiful this thing runs. So, um, all right, Moss Man, I did it down here in the shade. Uh, I was going to do it up by my RV, which I wanted to show you as well. I got a beautiful toy hauler I ended up with. And like I said, I upgraded from the Buell to a V-Rod. Um, polished aluminum version 03 uh, anniversary, 100th year anniversary. So, anyways, you tell Rusty that me and Manny Boy said hello. And uh, keep up your videos, man. We enjoy them. I'm really liking the truck videos, obviously. So, alright, man. Peace out. Talk to you later.